I don't know who you are, but you better be ready to... Oh. It's you. <sighs> I told you not to come sneaking around like that. I almost roasted you, idiot. <sighs> of course I recognized you. Especially with that hoodie. I stole that one for you a while back. Not something I'm likely to forget. Now get in here before someone sees you. That's a new one. <clears throat> hey, easy there, little hero. What's got you all clingy today, huh? Miss me that bad? I told you that Shigaraki was moving stuff forward. That's why we couldn't be together for a while. <laughs> you saw my performance, huh? What do you think, eh? Pretty good, right? <laughs> the look on Endeavor's face. Now, I gotta ask. Why are you here? Don't you have, I don't know, heroic shit to do? Especially after our attack. I figured you'd be neck deep in it. You. Left. What do you mean by that, huh? You're serious. You left your agency, your license behind, all of it, to be here with me. That right? <laughs> well, that's something I didn't expect. All because of me, huh? Not that I mind. <sighs> Missed you too, little hero. Things are better than I could have imagined now. <laughs> Endeavor getting what he deserved, and me getting you, all within the same week. <sighs> Guess someone up there was really looking out for me, huh? You too? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm your savior. Well, that would make sense. Exposing all those heroes for what they truly are. Showing everyone the light. I knew from the start you never belonged with them. You belonged right here, with me. I'd been saying that since we started this little thing, didn't I? Well, you have nothing to worry about now, sweetheart. Everything is going to be different from here on out. You and me will destroy the world of heroes for good. Uh, I can't wait to watch Endeavor burn with you by my side. And I know you won't betray me. Not like that pathetic pile of feathers. Then again, <laughs> I knew he was a traitor from the start. He really thought he was so clever. <laughs> the look on his face is another I'm not likely to forget anytime soon. <laughs> the commission's going to be pressed now that their perfect weapon's grounded. Without his feathers, he's nothing but a broken toy to them. Who knows? They might just throw him away. Wouldn't that be fitting? I'm glad you came to your senses, though. Before they could do the same to you. They would have, you know. You get put out of commission once and your rank takes a dive. And then, you basically get thrown into the trash since you're no longer a bright, shiny stage piece for their stupid little play. Huh. 
I'll burn every last one of them if they even think of trying to take you back. Huh. You'll help me? <laughs> Not so much a little hero now, are you? I don't plan on calling you anything else, though. I've grown too accustomed to calling you my little hero. And after all, you are still a hero. To me, at least. You saved me. When no one else did. The world should thank you for it. I would have burned down every last thing until there is nothing left but me and Ash. But don't worry. I'd still find you cute. Even if you were a pile of soot. <laughs> Kidding. Come on. You're not fooling me. I know you've been dying to lay next to me. It's been how many months now? <laughs> I thought so. Don't get too comfortable with this cushy living situation, sweetheart. We'll be moving out soon enough, but... I guess we should enjoy it while we have it, huh? <laughs> Way better than that rundown dive bar we were staying in beforehand. Though, I gotta admit, kinda miss it in a way. That was where you and I made a lot of good memories, hmm? You were always terrified leaving the day after. Like someone would see you. If anything, it would have hurried you along back to me. Not like I would have let them take you to Tartarus anyway. That's right. I would have come for you. You know that. Would have caused a bit of a stir. We would have had to change some shit around, but... Yeah. You're mine after all. Remember. And no hero can change that. Not even you. Huh? Mm. Your hand feels nice. I could tell you were surprised about the color. Glad I didn't scare you off, though. Mm. My hair actually used to be red, if you can believe it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not kidding. Full on red, but... As I trained as a kid, it went away. Just goes to show Endeavor's got some weak-ass genes, huh? Took him four tries to get his perfect kid. And Shoto barely even looks like him. <laughs> the only one who does is Natsu. But I can't fault him for getting the short end of the stick. Sometimes fate deals us a cruel hand. I don't know how he can stand to look at himself in the mirror, knowing every time he does, that monster's looking right back at him. <laughs> Honestly, out of all of us, I thought he would be the one to set Mom off, but it was precious little Shoto. Though, I kinda like that. His prized creation being tarnished by the results of his own cruelty. It's sort of like... Poetic justice, I think. <sighs> you know, if there was anyone else pointing my scars out, they would be missing half their upper body before another thought crossed their mind. But because it's you, I'll allow it. I know they've gotten worse. But don't fuss over it. Nothing I can really do about it, honestly. Comes with the territory of not being resistant to my own flames. Call it a gift from Endeavor. I know you were watching the fight. You wouldn't be so worried otherwise. Were you that scared for me? Mm. Now, sweetheart, 
You know nothing will get in between me and getting rid of my dear, sweet father. Not even my own body giving out on me. And besides, if I'm nothing but ash after destroying Endeavor, you can keep me in a little urn or make me into a necklace so I'll always be with you. <laughs> Funny thing is, I don't feel any different. Even though they've spread, all the nerve endings are gone. Kind of pisses me off if I'm being honest. I can only feel when you touch those unscarred places like here and on the top of my head. But sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. At least my fingertips are still fine. I can still feel you. And that's what matters. Still so soft and warm. Mm. Maybe the nightmares will stop. Now that you're here. Guess you arrived just in time. Right when I needed you. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. Trust me, that confrontation, I've been waiting on it for years now, and my chest feels lighter than ever, but we're not done yet. <laughs> oh no, there's still much, much more to do, but everything's set in motion. Whether we're smiling or crying, the sun will still come out tomorrow. Only difference is, you'll be at my side. You'll have to get used to this lifestyle though. It's different and harsh. But I think you'll fit in just fine, little hero. <sighs> Spinner can babysit Shigaraki a little while longer. I deserve this. After we relax here a bit, Gonna have to take you and introduce you to everyone. I'll vouch for you, so you'll be safe. <laughs> the others trust me a lot more than they did twice. Hawks was honestly lucky that guy was such a moron. Or he would have never gotten a foot in the door. Just do yourself a favor and don't mention them at all, okay? Hawks, or twice. Twice especially, though. I'm sure you saw what happened and, well, Toga's not taking it the best. She was already unhinged, but now, <laughs> I think she's finally cracked. You'll have to give her some of your blood later on, but don't worry. I'll make sure she doesn't take too much. <sighs> Never thought I'd be saying that stuff to you. It honestly feels like a dream having you here like this, sweetheart. Kinda hoping if it is one that I don't wake up. Huh? Nah, I'm not crying. Can't anymore. I honestly don't remember when I cried last. Probably when I was just a kid before all this happened to me. <laughs> Yeah, that's blood. Sorry, sweetheart. Kinda messy sometimes. Happens with the staples. Compress likes to say that I'm held together with these things in pure spite, and I'm starting to think he might be right. You want to learn how to help with them? There's not much to it, really. But I'll show you. It looks gruesome, but it doesn't hurt me, so... Don't go getting all squeamish on me, okay? But enough talking about my scars. I see them every day. You, on the other hand. You, I've missed. Come here. Hmm. Hmm. Think we would have met if the old man hadn't screwed me up so good? Now that's a thought. Me and little heroes together. Going on patrol. 
fighting the villains and climbing the ranks. How quaint. <sighs> Could have gone to UA together. Been the top of her class. All that good shit. And when we graduated, we'd get a little condo in the city. Maybe have a dog. All the basic, idyllic things anyone could ever dream of. <laughs> yeah, it does sound pretty good, huh? Well, if this all goes sideways and we end up not making it, maybe we'll reincarnate together, huh? Have a different life where we can be heroes together. If I come back as a hero, I'd only want to be a hero with you. <sighs> yeah, in another life. But right now, let's just enjoy the hand we've been dealt, huh? We'll dance together on the battlefield that's to come. And I know, there's no one else I'd rather have with me in the final act. I'll keep you safe. Don't worry. Hmm. Looking a little sleepy there, sweetheart. I don't blame you. Dropping your life and running away is pretty damn exhausting. Trust me, I know. So, you just take a nap. We'll get you settled in afterward. I'll be here when you wake up. Won't have to worry about waking up alone anymore. Not now. Not ever again. Sleep tight, my little hero. <laughs>